This is a helmet. This one protects you in case you get to an accident, it protects you from uh, getting injured. Now, there is something I want you to learn. I'm holding a pin. It's very sharp and very thin. Now, this one, we are assuming it's 100. And this, I'm just trying to just explain why it's not 100% way of uh, preventing an accident. Now, you can see here, I have them. They are very good at doing what they do. But suppose something like this happened. You see? That pin went through. And then I just removed that. And uh, by accident, or maybe it was just packed, packaged as usual. And then you went and uh, you wore your helmet. Are you protected? It's just a question. So this is not a 100% way of uh, preventing yourself from getting into an accident. So the only way that you can be able to prevent anything of that sort from happening is by not being in any car, not riding, not doing anything, just running away from anything. So abstaining is one way, it's 100%. But it's not sustainable. It's very hard for you to, to abstain forever. So at one point, you're going to get into a point where maybe you want to use that. So it's upon you to weigh the benefits against the risks. And when you're still talking about this, there's something very interesting about HIV transmission. There will be a time during the initial phases of infection, it's highly infectious during the window period this is a very highly infectious um, period that you can be able to transmit to anyone but when tested it will turn out to be negative so this is when i usually see people going or getting tested for them to not use this they'll go get tested so that they just avoid using this it doesn't mean that you are safe you can also get that infection that time so what i would advise you to do go get tested yes Use this in as much as we've said that it's not 100%. We are going to use some faith. And uh, also get tested again after another three months. And then after, just to be a little bit more paranoid, after another three months, after getting tested three times and they are all, every time they are negative, chances are very high. I'm not saying they are negative. Chances are very high that that person is not having HIV. So you can just go ahead and uh, just remove your helmet. I don't know.